Let's Ooh. ease on down the road. The Ooh. on Broadway. That's a behind the scenes look at rehearsals. It's one of more than a dozen new shows opening this spring season. In fact, there are 18 new shows coming to the Great White Way. Guys, you know what's also Exciting. unique about this with the old and the new shows? There mm -hmm. will now be 40 marquee lit. That's a huge, huge post pandemic push wow. to get people back on the Great White Way. Danny Beckstrom talked to an insider to figure out what you need to see and how can you score oh. a good ticket price. Yes. Joining us now, actor, singer, Broadway insider, Kyle Barisich. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy to be here, Danny. We were chatting before. You've been in Phantom of the Opera. You've been in Dear Evan Hansen, the biggest names in Broadway. They kind of are. And now you're here, so thank you for uh, gracing our stage with your presence. Very happy to see you. So I want to know, heading into the spring season, as a Broadway insider, someone who's been in it, but also a fan of it, what have you already seen? Okay, show? well, this show that I can't stop talking about is Tommy. The Who's Tommy. I don't know if this is a show that's familiar to you, but I, the music is going through my head right now. So it's a revival of a production from the 90s of that classic rock album by The Who, Tommy. Ooh, great. It was a movie with Elton John and Tina Turner, and now it's this dynamic, top of the line, beautiful production at the Nederlander Theater. Uh, they are doing things on that stage that are so contemporary, so modern. What you do with a projection, it's like they are doing things that you won't find anywhere else. And they were so smart to choose the Nederlander Theater where Rent played for all those years Whoa, back then. So it's iconic. just got that iconic rock musical vibe. I saw this revival of an incredible play called Doubt. So this got a lot of headlines because like the movie? It is just like okay, the movie. Okay, so it started on Broadway and it's it's one of those shows that every time you see it, you have a different opinion about what's actually going on in the show. So it's a great thing to see once, twice, see the movie, come back and see the show. Okay, so what is left on your list? What do you have to see next? Are two shows coming in from an off-Broadway transfer. One of them I know you've heard about. It's called Hell's Kitchen. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. right? The great Alicia Keys wrote it. It's Amazing. kind of based on her life story. Oh, People are Super clamoring for tickets to this one. But another one that also transferred in from off-Broadway is called oh, Suffs. Yeah. It's about the female suffragette hey, movement. And this is going to be a sleeper hit because one of the co-producers is Hillary Clinton. This is her first foray really? into theater producing. And I think people are going to take another look at this show in a way they may not have. Okay, everyone's talking about cabaret. So this yes. transferred in from the, you've heard about yes. it too, oh, right? Of course, yeah. Of course. So Eddie Redmayne, some major he's, star power. He's so amazing. You love him, don't you? I love Eddie Redmayne. Yeah, okay. he's so great. I mean, to see him in person, I mean, people are going to pay top dollar for this show. I already know it. They've yeah. turned the theater into the Kit Kat Club, which is where cabaret is set. So just from moment one, you're surrounded by the show. And you feel like you're in it. You kind of are in That's it, cool. actually. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a whole separate cast that does a whole pre-show. So there's two casts performing for you throughout the night. So it sounds cool that you kind of getting more bang for your buck if there's a whole pre-show and then the actual oh, yeah. show. You can have a glass of champagne, That's you can so have a little, great. I mean, it's a real evening out. Well, value is something that is getting harder and harder to find uh, on Broadway. Tickets are at all time high. So what would your advice be to someone who wants to support the theater, wants to support Broadway, loves it, but the prices are just brutal. Is there a way to do it on a budget? 100%. And that is such a great question because I'm that person. Yeah, I want to see too. every show in town, right? Yeah. But I don't I don't really want to pay full price. So what I always do, what I tell people to do is go to the box office if you can. Not only do they have access to tickets that you can't find online, they will always be the first person to tell you about a deal. Mm -hmm. Just walk up and say, what's the discount? Is there a discount code I can use? They will tell you. Uh, the other thing that I like to do is there's a website called broadwayrush.com mm -hmm. they list out every broadway show every type of rush ticket every single digital lottery and all your options are laid out for you right there so it makes it really easy to decide which one you want to see and how much you want to save that's great i know i'm heading right to the theater then to get my cabaret ticket and tommy 100%. thank you so much for being here appreciate your time thanks annie love that and i'm with danny i love eddie redmayne but i want to see the whiz Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I want to see that. There's so many other classics. We only touched on a few of the shows, but our special this weekend, Broadway Backstage, goes through all the shows that you don't want to miss. That's tomorrow night at 7. Oh, she got me so excited, both I, of them. That was exciting to hear what's going on. It's great to see it back, too, post-pandemic.